Hello again, everybody. It's the Reverend Jay Goldstein, and welcome to another episode of Doodling with Reverend Jay. In today's episode, we're going to be drawing an erupting volcano. An erupting volcano is nothing more than a mountain that's exploded from the pressures built up inside the Earth. So let's draw one. Now, I'd like to start with the sides of the volcano, which are, of course, mountain shaped. So I'll make a diagonal line over here, leave some space, and a diagonal line over here. And of course that space I left is for the eruption itself. So let's draw some lava now. Come down a little bit from the top and make a curve, like that. Then do the same thing on the other side. Now build on those curves, bringing more curves towards the center. Now lava is very thick, so there'll be many leading edges of the lava, and we can draw those with more curves like that. And you can put them wherever you think they belong. I'm sure you'll do a better job than I. Then we should put some lava on the side of the volcano. You can do that by making this shape. Sort of starting just a little bit above, coming out, back in, and up a little bit. Do that on both sides. And hey, we've got lava coming out of our volcano. Next we need the explosion. And that can be done with a lot of bold straight lines, like this. Bold straight lines. And the lines in the middle should start a little bit lower than the lines on the edge to help show that the volcano has a round lip. Next, we put the cloud. That's right, the big cloud that comes out of the explosion. And that's all the dust and smoke and whatnot. There's a lot of whatnot. And this is similar to the cloud we drew in the first episode of Doodling with Reverend Jay. We simply make a bunch of curves and put some curves on the inside like that. Next, we're going to put some more detail in the explosion lines closer to the explosion itself. And this will give it a little bit of dynamicism. Or so I hope. If you don't agree, don't put them in. Next we're going to have some lava shooting off the edges of the volcano. And that can be represented with little teardrop shapes. And just remember, the uh, point of the teardrop should probably point towards its source. And that would be the volcano. There we go. A little pattern for the mountain, like that. And we're almost done. Now we could just give some ground around the base of the mountain using our old friend the grass pattern, which is nothing but just wiggling the pen up and down as it goes across the page. And that's basically it. It's a volcano exploding. And I'm sure if you've been doodling along with me, yours looks even better than mine. For you are an artist, and I did this. <laughs> But if you enjoyed seeing me do this for some reason, please hit the like button and share it with a friend. Subscribe to the channel and see if I get any better at this. Take bets. Who knows? Perhaps someday I will be as good an artist as you are. Until next time, it's Reverend Jay Goldstein. Ta-da! I mean...